Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the most powerful anti-inflammatory foods and this is requested topic because many of you are asking Yola, so what is the best thing I can eat you know, to get rid of this inflammation and to get healthier quicker. So I thought I'm going to make like very short video to just give you a hint like what those the most powerful anti-inflammatory foods are. So let's start from what is actually inflammation and why you should care. Inflammation is actually a very natural process. Like, for example, if you get hurt uh, on your finger, around your finger, your body gonna uh, uh, gonna make some kind of protective barrier. So it's uh, the infections not happening there, you know, like in inflammation, like uh, all over the, the place where you cut. So inflammation is natural, but the constant chronic inflammation, this is very problematic because the inflammation didn't supposed to last like months and months or years. It's supposed to last only to, to the moment when we heal from, from the injury or from the disease. But, you know, endo is inflammatory illness. Actually, a majority of uh, diseases those days, they are inflammatory diseases, uh, inflammatory illnesses. So where is the inflammation endo tribes? That's why I'm like Jehovah Witness <laughs> coming and preaching, you know, about this anti-inflammatory diet because it's so, so, so important, girl, seriously. Just by uh, eliminating inflammation from our body, we can get rid of a majority of our problems and our symptoms. Like, for example, cramps, for example, bloating, for example, chronic fatigue. These are all uh, symptoms of the chronic inflammation. It means that your body is fighting, you know, not only with disease, but with chronic inflammation. So you feel fatigue. You don't have um, energy for anything else. Your gut cannot heal. So you feel constantly bloated. You know, there are cramps. There is the pain. So where is the inflammation? There is all of these horrible symptoms. So it's really, really worth it to uh, implement anti-inflammatory diet and make it a lifestyle. So what are the most uh, anti-inflammatory food which you can include in your diet today? Number one. <laughs> Berries, number one. Berries contain antioxidants, as we all know. Uh, and they have anti-inflammatory effect and uh, uh, our body is producing the killer cells. Killer cells, they are basically the cells which our body sends where there is the disease to basically fight with disease, like, like super cells, you know. And uh, they, they actually make a um, study uh, in one study, those who consume blueberries every single day produce significantly more killer cells than those who didn't. Actually, 67% of more killer cells, which is mind-blowing, mind-blowing. So it's good to include some berries. And by berries, I mean all kinds of berries. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, you know, any berries. Then we've got the fish full of omega-3, as we all know, full of fatty, uh, fatty acids and the good fat. Uh, not only help to reduce uh, inflammation, but it also um, helps uh, with uh, providing you with a, a good oil, uh, which is good uh, for so many things. For example, studies show that the people consuming salmon or the supplements with omega-3 experience reduction in inflammatory markers. So that's very highly anti-inflammatory as well. And I'm pescatarian, so that means I'm not eating meat like, uh, you know, chicken or uh, beef, but I'm eating fish. So uh, if you uh, are, you know, like eating meat, please consider reducing it because it's got a lot of 
um, hormones those days, you know, we have to be very careful from where we're getting our meat because those days is just like uh, mass farming of the animals and they keep injecting them with a lot of horrible hormones. So you have to be mindful as well as with fishes, you know, <laughs> we are living in a very strange world when the humans are thinking that they are god you know they have got given rights to abuse this planet so we have to be also careful from where our fishes come from yes another beautiful anti-inflammatory uh, veggie which is broccoli broccoli is a part of uh, cruciferous vegetables which including the cauliflower brussels uh, kale as well and eating them is associated with decreased risk of heart disease and the cancer on top of anti-inflammatory effects so uh, as you can see a lot of greens another beautiful uh, beautiful fruit fruit is is avocado fruit i think it is <laughs> uh, is avocado avocado uh, it's uh, full with potassium magnesium fiber anti-inflammatory and anti-cancerogenic uh, properties, uh, re reducing risk of cancer, as I mentioned, and is full of good fat for girls who are trying to get pregnant, top it up with avocados. You know, nature is amazing. Did you notice that, you know, a lot of uh, these vegetables or a, a lot of um, fruits, they actually have the shape like uh, for what they are good for like for example um nuts and uh, nuts got the shape uh, some nuts got the shape like of the brain you know because they are good for our brain and avocados they have the shape of a woman because they contain a lot of good fat and they are amazing for girls who are trying to get pregnant so another one my lovelies cherries rich in antioxidants in one study people who consume 280 grams of cherries per day for one month managed to decrease their inflammation markers by 45 percent that's amazing so top up on cherries what are your favorite cherries because there are a lot of different kind of cherries which i didn't know because in poland we've got only one <laughs> only one so i had to come to to the uk to actually discover other ones other uh, kinds of cherries and my favorites are the small ones uh, which you uh, put to the drinks but you have to be careful because they're going to soak them with a syrup and it, they are full of sugar usually. So it's very hard to find them without sugar. Another one, my lovely tomatoes, uh, full with vitamin C, potassium, antioxidants, and they've got anti-cancerogenic properties. Um, the one thing which is good to know that cooking tomatoes in olive oil can maximize the amount of uh, lycopene do uh, you absorb and lycopene is a carotenoid a nutrient that is better absorbed with sources or of fat so what that means that uh, when you're eating for example tomatoes try uh, with a salad try to put the olive oil you know sprinkle it on top or marinate it with for example za'atar or with other spices you know just try to get more uh more fat with it because it makes uh, um, all these nutrients absorb quicker another amazing thing good for the pregnant woman as well <laughs> and soon i'm gonna do the series for pregnant girls and for those who are trying to get pregnant pineapple pineapple full of vitamin c boost your immune uh, system and reducing the inflammation and do you know how to cut pineapples i didn't know i just cut it like you know in the chunks but apparently it's wrong and this is how you cut the the the, the uh, pineapple you cut it from the sides first you have to uh, chop off the top then you have to chop off the button and then you have to just slice it you know like this 
because in, inside they've got like pineapple core, which you uh, cut in the chunks. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. A, is my computer going to show it? It's so slow, guys. Like, honestly, I don't know what is slower today. Me, <laughs> who is just about to get period or my computer. Okay. Anyway, anyway, guys, another one amazing anti-inflammatory uh, superpower, a uh, superpower veggie is a kale. Literally a superfood full of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, fiber, magnesium, iron, and calcium. Literally <laughs> super, super food and powerhouse and help with everything from the glowing skin to healthy eyes, powerful digestive system and strong bones. Seriously. Uh, I actually... Uh, start eating kale when I came to the UK because believe it or not in Poland this is not very popular and for for a very long time I didn't even know how we call this thing in in, in my language in Polish language I just find out like literally two months ago <laughs> we didn't have this you know in Poland so now when I know, I'm just adding it to the smoothies, to my green smoothies. If you didn't watch a video about the green smoothies, please check it out because I'm going to link it uh, somewhere here <laughs> or, or somewhere there. So please check it out. And another thing, please add to it some spices because we've got some amazing anti-inflammatory spices such as turmeric. Uh, we've got the ginger as well. And guys, if you don't know uh, which spices to add, like which oils are good, please let me know. I'm going to send you uh, all the checklists so you don't have to search for it. And you, you just can, you know, print it out or screenshot it. And next time when you go to the shop, you just have like shopping list over there. Let me know if you like this video, please click the uh, subscribe button, like it and share it with everyone. And if you need a seven days meal plan, free meal plan, let me know as well in the comment section below. Uh, just email me. I'm going to leave my email address. Don't uh, leave your email address here uh, on the YouTube because, you know, for safety and security. My email address is public anyway, so you can just email me and tell me, yo, please send me everything and I will. I hope this short video helped. If you like it, please click the like button, subscribe and share it with everyone. I know I'm repeating myself, the period, the period. When you've got a problem with communication, you have to forgive me. <laughs> As always, I love you so much and I see you in Monday. Bye.